Hi, let's just um, back here out in the goat shed and we're doing a bit of work on the scabbard, the sore scabbard we started. <coughs> so I've um, redrawn the, uh, the, the profile onto the uh, scabbard. I apologise if you see me dressed like a, like a Viking really. I've, just a, this warm clothes I had on in my shed here because it's quite cold to say this. Uh, um, excuse me if I look a bit of an idiot. <coughs> so you can see me down there somewhere, and I, yeah. So um, yeah, just going to cut this look. The ten fingers. I've still got ten fingers. So that's it. Look, that's the um, that's what after two of these. The next bit we're now will be to cut a straight line down there to follow the shape of the where the actual blade of the saw is going to go. So for this, I'm going to use <coughs> uh, a modern angle grinder, as um, it's uh, so much quicker than mucking about with saws and, and stuff. I expect they would have had to use over a flat chisel taking lumps out all connected like this and then use a gal to chop it all out by hand or some sort of saw would have been hard work as well to keep that straight especially a saw of their quality back in them days but yeah i'm gonna use this now which is obviously not an authentic way but nor was the jigsaw just now so just to run this round up ahead Well, they're so good compared to what they could ever have done. Um, and a quick look. So, I'm looking like this now. Down there. So, so this is all governed by the bronze ends which we've brought in advance. This is all um, dictating what we're going to, what size we're making this. So, yeah, so um, the next, I will. I'm going to have to use a gouge now. I haven't got. I do have a router, I can't really use it very well. Um, a modern way would be use a router, an electric router that's going up and down. Um, I think I'll probably use a. I'll probably use. do a few more cuts with the angle grinder as like, to give you the right depth. You know, I'm going to do probably about 
six more straight lines all parallel running down and then use a gouge and you can use them then to help you with like a depth gauge really they'll be pretty much all the same reasonably the same depth and between those six you'll get an average really and and uh, follow those um, with a, a gouge like a cut chisel and that, that'll take that that take that out of there yeah so um yeah that's what we're going to be doing in, in the in the next stage so uh, yeah thanks for watching and um let's get a bit more done cheers bye